Metamorphosis, 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 metamorphosis. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and tonight we have the best albums of 2020 list. I uh, want to say that 2020 has been an incredible year when it comes to music, not when it comes to other things, right? But best I can describe this year, it was uh, the world is on fire, but so is the music. I thought that we will not get uh, great releases when like the pandemic just started in March. There was a lot of uncertainty. People didn't know what was gonna happen next. And uh, when it comes to movies, like uh, major movie releases just like stopped and uh, we couldn't see uh, movies. And then uh, I thought it's gonna, the same is gonna happen to music now. How are gonna people um, record music, how are they gonna go to studios and stuff like that, but um, people, I mean artists, they found their ways and they uh, made music in their bedrooms uh, first couple of months and then studios opened and then they were able to uh, do it in the studios as well, so uh, you know, things things worked out in the end of the day when it comes to music and uh, let's just celebrate it, let's just, <laughs> there is just so much, like this list is gonna be, uh, I'm I think it's the biggest list of albums I've ever made, I've ever put in one video at least. So let's just <laughs> go ahead and start because uh, we just uh, have a lot of to unpack to and uh, I don't want to make a one hour video. So uh, let's do it. First I want to do honorable mentions and <laughs> when it comes to honorable mentions, usually what people do is like uh, they maybe put maybe five or maximum 10 like shout outs. I put 30 <laughs> because like there are a lot, a lot of albums that um, I enjoyed, but the whole, like there were a lot of albums that I enjoyed like, let's say half of an album, like there are fire songs, but as a, like a album as a whole, it just didn't work out in my opinion. And some, like the whole, the whole when it comes to the whole picture, it just, it wasn't there. So those albums landed on honorable mention because I still had great uh, fun listening to them. And uh, also there are albums that I see it as, yes, it is great body of work, but I wasn't really into it, but I understand why people liked it. Uh, there are like albums that uh, made into other people's best albums of the year list, but I, for example, wasn't coming back to it that much. The repeat value wasn't there for me. So this kind of albums <laughs> uh, landed on our honorable mentions. So let's start with uh, number one, Eminem, Music to be Murdered By. Uh, second, we go to Mac Miller, Circles. And then there's uh, Evermore by Taylor Swift. At number four, we have Translation by Black Eyed Peas. Uh, number five, Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers. Rare deluxe version by Selena Gomez because I find the deluxe version better than the original. There's just more uh, great songs she added to the deluxe. And then there's also Virgo World by Lil Tecca. Uh, this is this should have been I think in best albums of the year. It just is just like um, some of the songs uh, just didn't make it for me to like consider it to the best album. But like I was like honestly really enjoying this uh, project uh, definitely really catchy songs you should check it out uh if you have a chance uh 3.15.20 by Charles gambino then we go to plastic hearts by miley cyrus then good news by megan Thee stallion uh heaven or hell by don Tolliver, high road by kesha uh fuck the world by brand fires and then number 14 we have jack boys by Travis Scott and uh, uh, his gang, basically, <laughs> Shaq West, Don Tolliver, etc. We have uh, It Was Divine by Alina Barras. Uh, we have also Sweet Action by Jack Harlow, nice little EP. Uh, Conversations in the Mist of Global Lobotomy by Belour. Uh, Fuck Love, Savage by Kid Leroy. Also we have uh, just a recently dropped album like uh, on Christmas, Whole Other Red by Playboy Cardi on number 19. I was just blasting uh, one of the songs in the beginning of this video from uh, from this album. And then we also have Seeking Thrills by Georgia, uh, Dedicated Side B by Carly Ray Chapson, Confetti by Lil Mix, Smile by Katy Perry, 
written testimony by Jay Electronica. At number 25, we have Letters to Remember by Lucas and Steve. People were asking me to react to this album, uh, telling me that uh, th if you really liked Kaigo's uh, Golden Hour album, you should definitely check out this uh, release. And I wasn't able to speak on this matter uh, on the video. So this is the first time I have a chance. And uh, yeah, it, it was a good release, um, not, didn't make it to the best albums, but I definitely uh, see. I didn't. I definitely saw why people were recommending me to it, and uh, why it is actually a good um, disco. I mean, sorry, not disco dance release. And uh, yeah, I, I I had some share of fun listening to it. Uh, good intentions by Nav. Everything sucks by Princess Nokia. Uh, we're almost there. <laughs> Number twenty eight. We have Power Up by ACDC, some rock in there as well. Uh, 29, we have Sunshine Kitty, uh, Paw Prince edition. I know that Sunshine Kitty by Tavlo is a 2019 album, but uh, in 2020, she released a deluxe version, Paw Prince edition, and she dropped, um, you know, much more songs to them, to the album. And uh, I liked it, I liked it. Uh, it was my first time listening to that album, actually, in 2020, so. Um, and you can find that reaction uh, on my YouTube channel if you want to. And then the last but not least, at number 30, we have The Price of Tea in China by Boldy James. So 30 albums <laughs> got honorable mentions. Now, um, let's go to best albums. We have 55 best albums of 2020. It really feels nice to be able to share uh, my music taste to the world and to you guys and uh, I'm glad that like uh, you, You'll get to see what I listened to in 2020 like the, the whole, whole picture uh, Definitely a hip-hop pact, but um, still uh, You will find pop albums alternative albums and uh, I'll give some statistics in the end of the video uh, about this list once we got, go through all the albums so at number 55, we have RTJ4 by Run The Jewels. At 54, we have Yo Hago Lo Que Me Da La Gana by Bad Bunny. Uh, he does whatever he wants and it definitely... You can tell that by the production and by the songs on this album. 20 songs on this album, but different genres, different variety of music. Uh, it just never stays the same. So he definitely explored a lot of things, definitely did whatever he wanted on that album, and it paid off to a pretty nice, solid release. And then at 53, we have I'm Your Impress Of by Impress Of. Uh, at 52, we have Perils for Armor by Hayley Williams. Uh, at 51, we have High of Life by Future. At 50, we have Miss Columbia by Lido Pimienta. At 49, we have Changes by Justin Bieber. Yes, actually, I also didn't, uh, forgot to say that uh, music is subjective, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if in other people's list, uh, some releases that I'm mentioning even end up on like the worst songs or the worst albums of 2020, I, I don't care. Like, I liked what I liked, I listened to what I listened to, and I'm just sharing my honest uh, albums and opinions. Uh, to me, Justin Bieber's changes, while it was not really well um, uh, like received by people, uh, at least from what I saw on the internet, uh, I still think uh, this was a nice release. Yes, uh, not as ambitious as um, Purpose was, definitely, and I, I was really excited uh, when uh, 2020 January came. Uh, when Justin Bieber announced that he's gonna have a new album. I was really excited. I thought that, oh, like, this is gonna be like a Purpose era again, like really great popular songs, and we're gonna have songs to remember in five, 10 years later. But still, you know, uh, we got like a different type of album, very, very chill. Uh, still, uh, it was a nice listen. I, um, it grew on me a lot, and uh, I was coming back to it plenty of times. Uh, we have. Jaguar at 48 by Victoria Monet. At 47, we have uh, Calores by J Balvin, uh, Latino Gang. <laughs> at 46, we have Fetch the Bold Colors by Fiona Apple. At 45, we have Kiki by Kiana Day. 
Uh, at 44, we have, uh, oh my God, this hip hop album is so great. Uh, Lulu by Conway the Machine and the Alchemist, uh, Griselda Records. Uh, and there will be a plenty of Griselda albums actually on this list because Griselda, album, Griselda Records, they were dropping hit after hit after hit when it comes to albums, like the, their artists were just dropping uh, like nonstop albums in 2020. So I think each uh, major, uh, guy from uh, Griselda will get represented in this album, in this list actually, uh, as we go on. At 43 we have The Legends Never Die by Juice World. At 42 we have Love Goes by Sam Smith. At 41 we have Positions by Ariana Grande. Again, not uh, another album that uh, didn't get major satisfaction over the fans uh, is, again, is I, as my perception is, like what I saw on the internet, uh, but I, uh, I, um, when I listened to it first time, I really liked it to the point where like, I thought, oh my God, like this is uh, on the level of Thank You Next uh, and uh, Sweetener, but um, then, we, then it was like, oh, okay, it's not actually as good as those last releases. And then uh, how can we forget about Dangerous Woman, which, uh, you know, a lot of people consider her best work. So, but then um, I like, I, I'm liking more and more, like there's just actually a lot of hits, like it, they're, they're, the songs from Positions, they're uh, ending up on like uh, today's hits, like uh, Motive, 34 plus 35, Positions obviously, and then uh, POV, like there's just a lot of, even like I just, I was in Mexico um, a few days ago actually, <laughs> and I, I heard, P, uh, I heard, nasty like it's it's a deep cut right nasty being played on the streets of uh, isla mujeres mexico you know what i'm saying so it's like t says a lot it's uh, getting streams popular album pretty nice to listen to anyway uh, defending ariana grande my girl as usual <laughs> and then we also have uh, how i'm feeling now by charlie xcx at number 40 and then at number 39 we have modus vivendi by 070 shake uh, this artist i um i first got introduced to her uh, because of kanye west and then uh she appeared on 2018 a release uh, uh yay uh, but then um I, I i never thought i would be able to like dissect i mean like enjoy her music especially in the whole album capacity because like when i heard her songs it was just like weird like the sonical experience uh was kind of weird to me like uh, i couldn't never get into it but then this year like with this album uh it hits different for me like uh really like she transfers you to like different dim dimension you're just like floating in somewhere like it's uh, it's pretty good release um, so, and especially like she's not that popular compared to like, let's say Charlie CX, Ariana Grande, Sam Smith. So if you have never heard of her, maybe you should check it out. Uh, 38, we have uh, Disco by Kali Minogue. At 37, we have Spillage On by Spillage Village. By the way, we'll come back to Disco actually by Kali Minogue. Plenty of disco releases uh, that uh, like kind of got inspiration from the 80s uh, really sound like 80s disco is the one is disco there's other albums that will appear here as well uh i mean the very popular artists uh, that i will not mention yet to not spoil their surprises uh, were using 80s like like coming back to 80s disco sound and paid off really well actually <laughs> um who, who knew that we actually missed a lot that era of music uh we have TK Maidza, Last Year Was Weird, Volume 2, at number 36. At number 35, we have City on Lock by City Girls, if you like that trap, nasty, female, hip-hop, just just get into it, like, you, it's a lot of fun. I, I was blasting uh, Pussy Talk featuring Doja Cat, and there, was, there were uh, other songs like Jobs and uh, uh, Rodeo, like, just a lot of, lot of good songs. Um, like if you if you liked Walk by Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B, definitely give this a listen. Yeah, you will not be gonna regret it. Uh, at 34 we have Detroit 2 by Big Sean. At 33 we have No Pressure by Logic. 
and thirty two we have Folklore by Taylor Swift. Uh, a lot of people, uh, kind of, <laughs> not a lot of people, but some people criticize me <laughs> on the Grammy nominations video for sort of like being biased uh, for Taylor Swift. Like I said, I, like this is still a great album, but um, I I I said that I prefer uh, a few other nominations over Taylor Swift, like in that Grammy spot but then, <laughs> like i got dislike ratios oh you're biased you're oh, of course this is that was that was my list like anyway uh, i mean the, my choice is my preference uh, what i want to pick on grammy is like who i want to win but anyway yes definitely folklore was a good album and then um uh, she it was big it was a big deal in 2020 for sure we have dark lane demo tapes by drake uh at number 31 at number i mean i'm a Drake fanboy, so how can you escape this release? <laughs> how can I not include Drake uh, in the best albums of the year? Uh, we have Pray for Paris by West Side Gun at number 30, another Griselda representative hip hop. Uh, and the genres are appearing on the screen I, as I'm editing, yes, so you, you'll be able to see if it's your thing or not. If, it's, if you're not into hip hop, you can maybe skip this release, but like if you're into dance, let's say, and there's dance according, on the genre, definitely uh, you're welcome to check out these uh, albums if you haven't listened to them yet. Uh, whatever genre you're into, check them out. Or expand your horizon of music by checking out some genres that you haven't uh, checked out before or don't really like them. But maybe this releases will get you into them. But anyway, uh, track number, t uh, album 29, Limbo by Amine, uh, album 28. Now this one, <laughs> Starting Over by Chris Stapleton, country album landed on uh, Best Albums of 2020, which I would never like, I mean not never, but like I wouldn't expect me to put a country album on Best Albums, but it, it's here, it's just freaking amazing album, I just uh, never realized how country can be fun <laughs> but it was it's just awesome awesome release uh, there are um like very like hard rock type of songs like arkansas and the uh, devil made me think twice there's also heartfelt songs like cold like uh, uh, romantic ones as well and then there's also um a uh, joy of my life and then there's also a song about dogs <laughs> you know what i mean like uh if you if you like uh, dogs and uh, you want if you want like reinforced love for dogs you might want to check out Maggie's song you know great album great album we have seen me at all by Kelly which is at number 27 uh, at number 26 we have manger on McNichols by Baldy James we have energy by disclosure uh, yes I'm a fanboy of disclosure as well uh, so <laughs> here it is um, Nightmare Vacation by Rico Nasty at 24. Uh, another art, a lot of like, not a lot of, but like plenty of artists that I'm naming. I wouldn't imagine like just a couple of years ago, like dropping them in the best albums of the year, but they're like outdoing themselves, like they're proving uh, me wrong. And they're here, like Rico Nasty, for example. I uh, wasn't really into Rico Nasty, um, I was pretty neutral on it, correct? On Rico Nasty, but this album, uh, won me over and we have uh, Jesse Ware what's your pleasure uh, Fantano's number one pick actually I was surprised to be honest I wouldn't I personally wouldn't pick it as number one but it was definitely enjoyable release um, yeah but um, we we go <laughs> another disco album by the way uh, if you want to feel good and just dance uh, uh, especially on New Year's Eve uh, Jesse Ware is the one. Uh, we have My Turn by Lil Baby, uh, Artist of the Year by um, Apple, uh, Apple uh, like Music Awards. Uh, and uh, I actually don't mind this. Lil Baby is like freaking kill it. Like he had a lot, like so many hits all over the charts. Like he had more, like most of it all. I mean, more than anybody else, uh, I believe. Uh, he was his name was popping up in the charts and i, I was listening to a lot of those songs <laughs> like i was enjoying this uh, man's uh, body of work and his music in general props to little baby uh, uh at album 21 we have jenny aiko 
Chilombo. Uh, okay, you cannot see it, uh, <laughs> but I, I have it there um, at the wall, basically. Um, yeah, she's there, <laughs> basically. Uh, as a, a lot of these uh, posters you see, I have Jenny Echo Chilombo. Um, we have at number 20, Un Canto por Mexico, Volume 1 by Natalia Lafourcade. Mexican album. Um, where, like celebrates uh, music's, uh, I mean, celebrate Mexico's um, lavish, uh, beautiful music, um, and uh, if, it's just such a beautiful uh, release. If you like, uh, for example, the movie Coco, um, like the guitar and the, all the instruments that uh, is presented in music in Mexican music, like definitely check out this uh, album. Very, very. Um, uh, pleasant experience and then we have uh, at number 19 wanna by Ghana uh, I <laughs> I would have put this lower but actually uh, when I saw uh, my statistics that um, Apple music provided me to what I listened to the most freaking Ghana was at number five uh, of top 10 albums he was at number five and I still put him at number 19 because I like what I, I really listened to him that much I like Nothing against Ghana, I love Ghana, but like, wow, I just didn't expect that I listened to Wana that much, but uh, it was addicting, catchy uh, album, for sure. Uh, he's just, he just flows, you know, like, he's, he's awesome. Um, we have uh, Golden Hour by Kaigo at number 18. We have, uh, yeah, the dance, I gave it a 10 out of 10, <laughs> actually, so it should be higher, actually, in, in the list, but um, the repeat value wasn't much there as I would hope uh, to, um, to to make it like higher uh, so that's why it's on number 18 we have Burden of Proof by Benny the Butcher hip-hop album uh, Griselda Records another fantastic release uh, really enjoyed it Sawayama at number 16 by Rina Sawayama a pop uh, extravagant uh, new artist if we can say that i mean but i knew her since 2017 um music to be murdered by side b by eminem at number 15. eminem really surprised me and surprised all of us by uh, starting 2020 starting off 2020 with music to be murdered by and then uh, closing 2020 with the uh, side b deluxe edition um i honestly preferred this side b much more because it was there was there wasn't really like any lows as the first album had like there were like low lows and then good songs as well but here is just like packed with really good strong material and i really enjoyed um it's like it was coming back to uh relapse era recovery era era uh it, it was it was basically he was serving to his fans <laughs> like uh, um, like as an Eminem fan, I really enjoyed this release. Uh, uh, got me nostalgic, even like uh, I was uh, as a kid grew up listening to Eminem, so it was awesome. This release was really incredible. I was super happy. <laughs> we have Man on the Moon 3 by Kid Cudi at number 14. Incredible release, and Kid Cudi and Eminem, both of them, like they dropped it, uh, pretty much in the end of December, uh, well, in the middle of December, th their album. So um, maybe if they dropped it earlier in 2020, maybe these albums were even higher, but I just didn't want to disrespect those albums that I played through the whole year. So, you know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, let's go to uh, number 13, Freddie Gibbs and the Alchemist Alfredo, um, future hip hop album uh, of the uh, year by Grammys for sure, this is gonna win. Uh, if not, we are suing Grammys <laughs> because that in the batch of Grammys of best hip hop album, uh, this Alfredo album is the best among written testimony and Nas and whatever. Yeah, this album is the best. De definitely fantastic release as well. Uh, at number twelve, we have Women in Music Part Three by Haim, another uh, artist that um, I was neutral about Haim before, but now they won me over. By dropping this uh, classic release, actually fantastic uh, album, and uh, I was super happy for the girls when they got nominated to the best album of the year nom award uh, in Grammys. 
So looking forward to see who's gonna win. Probably not gonna, uh, not uh, I'm not gonna win just because they're not that popular. Um, probably maybe Dua Leap is gonna win it, uh, which is number eleven pick actually, Future Nostalgia <laughs> by Dua Lipa. But anyway, um, I will be happy for both of these uh, girls. So, uh, and then we have uh, at number ten, Nectar by Joji. By the way, top ten now, top ten territory. Top 10, <laughs> let's go, Nect Nectar by Joji, number 10, uh, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon by Pop Smoke, number 9, incredible release, like head after head, it's like there's the all, pretty much all of the songs in this album, like the original version, not like about the locks, 20 songs pretty much, almost all of them were in the, in the charts, in the, like uh, they were considered hits, people were playing them, uh, they were appearing on TikToks, with everything. Like Pop Smoke, unfortunately, couldn't see um, his impact on on 2020. Like he died, unfortunately, uh, early early this year, and um, it's very upsetting. Very upsetting. Like um, before this album dropped, I was actually like. Uh, I was very neutral on Pop Smoke. I was like, yeah, he has this cool drill sound going on, but what else he can do? Because the Wu 2, uh, the album he dropped before this album, it was just like, I listened to it, like every song was just sounding the same, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, but then like this album just showcased whole different perspectives and angles that Pop Smoke can do. It was just incredible. Like you have that even, with Carol G, like Latin song, and you have like drill songs, you have uh, club bangers, uh, love romantic songs, you have a lot of things that it just work really well for Pop Smoke, just sounding amazing. Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon, check out this album, you're not gonna regret it. Uh, at number eight, one second, we have the Slow Rush by Tame Impala. Tame Impala. Tame Impala. Same Impala at number eight. We have uh, him, and then also we have um, Unlocked by Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats. Also another poster over there. <laughs> I have, and I have Future Nostalgia over there too. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, the Slow Rush and then Unlocked by Denzel Curry, and Kenny Beats. At number six, we have Savage Mode Two by Twenty One Savage and Metro Boomin. Uh, Morgan Freeman was there, he was cold, he was brutal, he was amazing, it really uh, fit well to the narrative, it was awesome, it was awesome. And definitely 21 Savage delivered on the rapping, Metro delivered on producing, it was a fantastic release. At number 5 we have Chromatica by Lady Gaga. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I know. I was thinking, what what is better, Chromatica or Future Nostalgia? Chromatica, or Future Nostalgia. But then, uh, Apple Music statistics uh, for me just showed that I listened to Chromatica more than Future Nostalgia, so that's why it's above Future Nostalgia. But if you prefer Future Nostalgia, for example, over Chromatica, I wouldn't be uh, mad about it because both of these uh, pop uh, dance pretty much albums are fire. They're simply fire. The uh, female artists really delivered us great music this year. We have Niagara by Redville at number four. Uh, this is like a very indie project. Uh, by by saying indie, I'm not meaning the genre, but I mean like very like underground uh, release because it's not popular at all. Um, very few people know about this, but uh, Niagara by Redville just made my made my days like <laughs> every time i woke up i was turning this album on it's short it's sweet it just gets my mood going it's very like even if it's not really like the most positive thing in the world when it comes to lyrics it's just like something about the vibe is just so uh, awesome it's just uh, relaxing and like puts me in a good mood it's just awesome yeah uh, so that's why it's on number four in the the statistics, the statistics show it actually land on number four, so I'm just putting it there. Eternal Take by Louise Vert at number three. Oh, you cannot see it there as well. I'm, I'm afraid to move the camera 
so uh, because I don't want to lose this angle. But anyway, uh, yes, Eternal Take by Lily Uzi Vert. Another artist I didn't expect <laughs> liking so much I mean, because before I was very neutral to uh, about Lily Uzi Vert as well. But this year, uh, like he was one of my favorite artists, like hands down. I was listening to him all the time. My gosh! And then Eternal Take was just hype on hype it's just like dosage of like adrenaline and like like we were jumping in the room like listening to him like running and like dancing uh it was just awesome awesome release um even if uh not not every song um landed well like there are some duds in the track list i just close my eyes and i i stick with those that i enjoy which is majority of, of the album anyway so no problems there, Lil Uzi, good job, great job. And then we have number two spot, we are in the top three spot, <laughs> yes, again, like just doing this, like to re for you to realize that this is getting even more serious, top three, we have Lil Uzi Vert, right? And then on, on album two, we have Gorillaz, Gorillaz, uh, Song Machine, season one, Strange Times. Uh, the reason I picked actually the top three uh, Lil Uzi Vert, for example, he dropped early in the year and I was listening to it the, throughout the entire year. Um, despite maybe like uh, some of the al other albums that I mentioned maybe had, let's say, better quality to them as like uh, songwriting or anything else, I just picked Lil Uzi Vert Eternal Take, for example, because uh, it served me whole year. I was just coming back to, coming back to it, so that's why. I put it there. I don't say when I say let's say like uh, Uzi Vert Eternal will take when I pick it over Taylor Swift Folklore. Let's say I don't necessarily say it's better album in quality. I'm just saying like for me, for me it was like because I was listening to it more. That's all. It's just subjective. Yeah, <laughs> reminding you this. Uh, so uh, Gorillaz Song Machine Season One Strange Times the same thing. Uh, throughout the whole year, starting from January, right off the bat, um, Gorillaz were dropping singles, like one single pretty much each month, and uh, this run was incredible. And then in October, we got the whole thing as an album, and I ordered like uh, the vinyl of Gorillaz Strange Times. It's it's supposed to be coming soon. <laughs> like I'm still waiting on it. And there's like Almanac by Gorillaz 2020. It's just like I'm, I ordered a lot of things. <laughs> from Gorillaz.com <laughs> it's just like I'm super excited because Gorillaz was actually most uh, streamed artist for me uh, this year I, I listened to Gorillaz older albums like Plastic Beach uh, and other like previous albums uh, as, as well I was listening to a lot of Gorillaz uh, in 2020 and in the, this album, new album Song Machine season 1 as well and uh, yeah, the Gorilla Service whole year, that's why it's on number two. And. <laughs> number one, number one, we have um, um, After Hours by the weekend. <laughs> by the weekend, After Hours by the weekend. Um, pretty much one of my favorite artists in my entire lifetime. The weekend, uh, he was phenomenal. Uh, he created this persona. Um, he reinvented himself. He delivered awesome music uh, this year, and I simply couldn't get enough of him. He has actually the biggest song to date in his career, "Blinding Lights," uh, which is a phenomenal song. I was listening to it all year long as well. Uh, a little spoiler, and then <laughs> and then we also have Heartless, Faith, uh, Too Late, uh, even the deluxe uh, songs like uh, freaking Missing You, Nothing Compares. Like every song is just like it was a spice. It was it was something else. It was incredible, and uh, the weekend just uh, had a phenomenal year, which Grammy didn't freaking acknowledge. <laughs> so and the week like this album in my uh, Apple Music statistics was number one. I, uh, it, it said that I played it like 360 times around that. But uh, I mean, not the entire album <laughs> 360 times, but like, you know, if you 
uh, count after hours, single, uh, heartless, and uh, scared to live, and blinding lights. Listen, these songs I listen to them a lot. Um, you know, each of them like I, maybe I, I hit like 50 times. Uh, listen, 50 times, 60 times, like 70 times. You know, it all ends up to like this number of uh, okay, you listen to this album like uh, more than 350 times, pretty much. So. Uh, really really amazing project and uh, yeah that's gonna do it the weekend at number one uh, tell me what was your favorite album of the year uh, this was an amazing year when it comes to music uh, and uh, yeah 2016 was like I always consider it as the best year of music uh, it went, throughout the years I lived but uh, 2020 is actually coming really close it's, it's just like it was something incredible 2018 was great as well all the all the even numbers <laughs> really much. um so yeah fantastic year uh best songs uh, of 2020 will come very soon as well so stay tuned for that don't forget to um check out that video so uh click the notification bell uh press like on this video and um subscribe and just suggest this video to other people yeah uh, in, let me know. Let me know what's your favorite album of the year, or top five, or top or top ten. Let's let's do top five. Top five uh, and the uh, best album of the year, in your opinion. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Bye.